really brilliant. So, thank you so much, Dan and Sarah. Sign the petition, come up and see these guys. Also, before we introduce Nick, as well as the man of the hour, um, if you haven't gotten your wristbands, it goes all to the bands. We're here to support all artists, all artistry tonight. So, go and see, right behind you is Lily or Savas. But right now, it is my esteemed honor to, uh, to introduce you to Nico. Nico really, it was awesome because the way Monster King became involved in all of this is that when he was censored, a ton of artists started like hitting me up, like tagging me on Facebook saying, well, where's Monster Kate at? Why is Monster Kate? You guys have like a, a mirror wall. You're supposed to start, a, you're supposed to um, promote alternative arts. And Nico definitely fits that, 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 uh, that uh, bio for us. I mean, obviously, your art belongs here, and we are extremely proud. We're extremely proud to have you a part of Monster Cake Family. So, everybody, give it up for Nico. He's going to come and say a few words here. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm a little confused. Is this Deke Town? No. Are we Deke Town? Who are we? We're Winston-Salem. Whose town is this? Trey this Ford. is our town. That's right, Trey Four. if you're nasty. The Twin City. This town belongs to the artists, the musicians, the people who punch a clock for a living. We have made this place the city of arts and innovation, and yet we can't afford to live here. Bloated corporate structures like Wake Forest use their wealth to buy up whole sections of Winston-Salem and drive up the cost of living. They get richer off the backs of cheap labor and rent checks. And when anyone dares speak out about their exploitation, we are silenced and our paintings are literally removed. I'm honored to put another monster on the wall next to the works of these amazing other artists. I owe a big thanks to Carlos, who owns Monstercade and is dedicated to promoting this city's artists as our own city leaders suppress controversial art. Real quick, I'd love for us to give another round of applause, please, for Dan Rose and Sarah Hines. Those two folks are tireless in their efforts to end poverty in Winston. Activists especially black and brown activists in Greensboro and Winston-Salem have been out in these streets screaming into megaphones about this city's gentrification and housing problems, sometimes actually putting their lives on the line for decades and everyone sleeps. One white dude from Yadkin County gets his painting painted over and y'all ready to riot! I've seen paragraphs on Facebook, white people arguing back and forth about Wake Forest's role in the gentrification of Winston. The people in Winston-Salem show up for their artists, and we're going to show up for our neighbors facing evictions too. There's a petition up here to get Forsyth County, Winston-Salem, to give us $1.2 million so that tenants have right to legal counsel when they're facing evictions. The landlords all have legal counsel. We need legal counsel, too. I'm going to end with this one quote from an organizer in Canada. If you think you're a part of the middle class, ask yourself whether you are more likely to become a billionaire or become homeless. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. It's Crumb Snatchers and then the Mighty Quartet.